Hello all, welcome back to Tech Learners. In this series, we are learning Python Django website interaction with the MySQL database. In part one of this series, we have already learned that how we can create a database in MySQL and insert data into database using Python Django website. In today's lesson, we will learn to fetch that stored data from MySQL and display it on the Python Django website. So this is part two of CRUD application that is read. In part one, we had covered this C part that is creating and storing data into the database. Let's have a very quick uh, look at what we had already done in the previous uh, lesson. So we can see that we had created this index dot html we had created the app uh, python django app we had created index dot html we had created user registration dot html so let me run this and show you that what we had done uh, till now so we will simply run the uh, server using python manage dot py space run server so this is the server live server uh, we had created this uh, index page we had created this index page we had created a link on this image clicking on this image we are reaching to this registration form we had created uh, the source file of this registration form is this uh, user reg dot html this is the template file we had created in the previous uh, lesson and using this registration form we were inserting the values into the MySQL database. So we had created the database uh, My Django. Let me show you that uh, what database we had created. So we will be using show databases and you can say we had created this My Django DB. Let me use this My Django DB and let me show you that what table we had created. So show tables. So we had created this user table using the models on the Python Django. And let me show you the data inside this user table that we had inserted. So this was we had inserted in the previous uh, lecture using this form. Let me insert one in front of you, uh, one more data uh, in the same table just to keep checking that whether it is working or not. So let me use this to name. I'll be using test. Uh, let's have the email as test at the rate gmail.com and let's have the contact number as one two three four five six seven eight nine and this is what so once I'll click on this button from the website this data should get inside the uh, this MySQL table user so let me click on this click to register and you can see I was redirected back to the index.html now let us check whether the data is inserted into the table or not using select query. So you can see, okay, this is the data inserted. So two was the user ID, test was the name, test at the Gmail and contact number. So we had already done this part. And in today's part, we will do the reverse that from this database, we will fetch all the records and will display on the website. So let's start and see what are the steps we have. So just to understand this lecture, uh, this is the uh, second part of the CRUD. That's the read or fetch. We had already done the creation part. Uh, what are the prerequisites that we should have a running Django project? We had already created in the previous uh, uh, lecture. We should have MySQL server installed. Yes, we have done this. We should have MySQL database created. Yes, we have created this uh, My Django database. Then we should also configure the database into the Python Django project that we have done in the previous lecture. If you want to learn all this, you can watch my first uh, video of this series on my channel. Then we should have created the table and inserted a record, at least a record inside the table that we I have just shown you that we have done all this thing. So today, let's start with this step number one to fetch the stored data. So what's the step number one? It's to create a template in Django app to view or read the data. So we'll create a template 
using view users dot html so this is the name of our template so let's go to the app and this is the app my app we had created inside we had already created few templates like index navbar and user reg so let me go to my app i'll click right and we'll go to the new file and we'll click create the template with the same name view users dot html so you can see this template is created so we have this template and uh, let me see what code we need into this we need to create uh, just a table or anything where we can display the data so i have just created a simple table uh, with a very little uh, very little styling if you want to uh, remove this uh, styling you can eliminate this uh, styling as well you can simply create a table with tr tag and td tag so i have created this tr tag and i am using th that is for the heading of the table id name email and contact and then i'll be using uh, this tr tag and td tags to display the records from the uh, database for that we'll be needing a loop because there are multiple records in the database so we'll use python here we'll nest python code here that is for us in user data we'll ex i'll explain what is this so we'll just need to merge this python code for the loop so that we can have uh, multiple rows and uh, all the records are displayed into that rows so let me simply uh, copy this uh, code here from here if you want to see the code you can pause the video and you can uh, easily view what is written in the code it's just the table creation and then displaying the uh, values inside that so let me go and uh, have the html tag first so because everything will be inside the html tag and then i'll copy this code simply uh, and let me change this center tag inside the body tag again uh, you must be knowing some of the html just to understand this so this is the center tag i have created a table uh, so i want this table into the center of the web page so i have just created a table uh, this is simple uh, styling of the table you can remove as well then i have created the tr tag just to display the headings and then i have used for loop in python so i have used for loop just to display all the records uh, this is the user data object that we will be just creating in the views file and uh, for us in user data and then we will be displaying all the records in the python code so this is the python code and then once we have done uh, fetching all the records we will be ending this uh, python code remember uh, we will end this after the tr tag so that all the rows are repeated now let's see what's the next step of uh, our progress so the next step we need to create a view in views.py for the above template that will actually fetch data from the database so uh, we'll copy this view so i'll go back to the views.py so this is the views.py we have already created this uh, view for insertion if you remember in the previous lecture so you can also watch the previous lecture and now let me copy this current view with the same name that is view users okay so we are creating this with the view users name and this is the actual code of python that will fetch all the data from the database table so remember this name user must be similar to what we are having into the table so this user we are using here into the python code and we are fetching we are using objects dot all that will fetch all the records from this user table uh, i'll show you in another tutorial how to select or how to fetch selected data that is based on where clause where condition selected data but here we'll display all the records from one table so this is the table name user and remember if you want to use this you must have this importation so which we need to add uh, from dot models import user i have already added this because once we had created this insert user we will be requiring you can see this we have called this table so we have already imported this in the previous lecture so you don't need to import it again and again if it is already done 
but if it is not, not already done you need to import this so uh, we will fetch all the data from the user table and we will store into an object user and then this object is passed to the template what we have already created this is view uh, users.html it's a template we will pass this so remember this user object should be similar here we are passing user object and this is the name user data you can uh, have it any name that will be using uh, you can see this user data should be similar to the here it's in the for loop user data right so it's just the passing so what we are doing is from the mysql table this user table we are passing it to this uh, user here object all the records will be returned from this line and will be stored into this user object this user object will be passed into the template and then inside the template we will be catching it using user data uh, object which we will be using here in the for loop inside the for loop this user data will return records and each record will be stored in the object us so we will be using us to fetch each column this is UID you can see it should be the similar here we have UID it should be same the name should be same then we have U name it should be same U name then we have U email it should be same here U email and lastly this is U contact so this should be similar to U contact so in this way we are fetching all the records and then we are displaying it inside the for loop because we are having multiple records so that we can see all the records so this is the next step uh, creating the view inside the views.py now let's see what's the third step uh, third step is creating the url of that url pattern of that uh, template so that we can view that view uh, that template so let me copy this uh, url pattern and we will go to the urls py of urls.py of our app so let's go to the urls.py remember we had two urls.py once in our app and there is one more urls.py but we don't need to touch this we'll go to the urls.py of our app inside the app so you can see this is the code of urls.py we had already created uh, template urls path patterns url patterns you can see this is insert user we had created in the previous lecture so i'll simply go to the end of this and we'll copy the url pattern so this is the url pattern uh, remember here it should be view users.html it should be same what we had already created inside the uh, inside the uh, this is the template name of the template view users.html so it should be same so this is view users dot uh, template and now we will go to the we will go to the this views view users it should be same in the name what we had created in view users this is view users inside the views.py it should be same here the second thing and this is the name you can give anything this is view users right so this is used in browser this is from views and this is the name of our template so this is the name of our template right so this way we have created the uh, path let me go back and just check this okay we need to add here my app so this is my app slash view users dot html so let me complete this this has to be my app which is the name of your app my app so this is my app slash view users and uh, inside the views dot by and inside the urls we simply need to write the name okay so this is just the name view users okay let me correct it in here also so inside the urls we don't need to have this my app okay and uh, here inside this view we need to have the name of the app as well so this is a simple correction right so we have added the url pattern here now let's see what's the next step in the next step we'll go to the step number three uh, we have already done this we have uh, created the url pattern and now we need to run the server and view the data okay so we have done everything we have done uh, 
okay so we need to do two things either we can run the server and directly we can view the data using the url pattern so let me show you how we can do this and then we'll go for the alternative step so let me go to the terminal view terminal and this is already running so we'll just open it okay now we'll uh, refresh this and now we can make changes here into this uh, url so we can simply write here in the url view users so you can see we simply make the changes here view users this is the url name view users we'll click so here it's the error uh, it should be only view users again let me correct this inside the text file as well it should be only in the path urls it should be only view users let me go back and check whether now it is correct let me go to the server click hit okay yes you can see so this is what we are getting uh, the data from the table we, are, we have already stored and we will fetch this data so we can see we are having this uh, these three records in the table and we will be able to see all these three records inside the table okay now let me create this we had created this index file as well so from this index file i want to connect it here right so let's go to the index file so this is the step number five actually so instead of accessing it from the browser, we will go to the index file and uh, here you can see we will change this instead view registered user, we will tick on view users and instead this user reg, we will change this to our new URL that is view users, okay, view users. So now let me let us see whether uh, this is connected or not so currently it's view registered user i'll refresh it continue and you can see this is view users now it has changed and we have got a link here so just by clicking on this we should directly go to the uh, view users page so you can see this is the url so we have view users and uh, this is how we can fetch the details from the database so this is how we had seen how we can fetch all the records from a table uh, from the database in the upcoming lessons we will be learning how to get selected records based on any condition and then uh, how to update these records so remember this action column we have added just for edit and delete which we will be converting into the buttons uh, in the upcoming lectures and then through these buttons we will be able to delete any record or update any record as well and we'll also learn how to fetch selected record.